Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty guys, what is up? And you guys already know what it is. So, um, well, I'm back here with another video, as I said. You know, promise you guys. But anyways, today is day two of this week. Today is Tuesday, May 1st. Um, and today I also had my science test, my end of the year science test for eighth grade. So we'll see, see what class I have and all that stuff next year. But um, I low-key can't wait. Like when I get into high school to like do like the first day of high school videos and do like back to school shopping videos and like all that good stuff. Like that's gonna be fun. But anyway, so off topic. Um, but as you can tell by the title of this video, let me put this hair up because honestly this is not looking too good. Okay, there we go. But um, anyways, so in today's video, I'll be talking to you guys kind of like my first day of school kind of story time and just some stuff that like just some little stories or whatever from when I was in my other private school that I thought I would go ahead and share with you guys. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. Okay, so on my first day, it all started out when um, I was very like, okay, so I walked in on my first day of school went to my school and there was like this little ta table it was in the cafeteria um they had this little table set up like kind of like back of where the lunch rooms or whatever like where we went in there to get our food and um and then they had a little table out there and they were telling me you know they looked at all of my records from my uh, my school before that and they said like congratulations you have all um advanced classes except math so yeah um and then after that you know i just went up there you know i sat in a little corner um and i just sat there you know i was like during my first couple months of school since i'm such a quiet person it took me a while to actually start talking to people and making friends and all that stuff because i'm just like a quiet person and i don't really talk much so um during the first couple months i was kind of lost but i had um my cousin goes to the same school so we were able to um like she was able to kind of like tell me like a little bit kind of like about the school or whatever um so and that was oh that was good and yeah so i think i'm going to tell you guys kind of like a little bit um i think the first thing that i had i had art and then i had all these other classes but uh, anyways <laughs> Um, so, um, you know, I went through my day, it was very smooth, you know, good, didn't really talk to anybody, just a smooth day, so by the end of the day, um, I already knew what kind of bus I rode that morning, because I had rode the bus that morning to school, and, you know, they called or whatever and said, um, like, your child was riding this bus or whatever, so, you know, in the morning, you know, I got on that bus, this was before school, before I went to school, um, so, no, I think that was on the second day I did my bus or whatever. So, on the first day, I had drove the bus back home. And, oh, my lips. Okay, yeah, I had drove the, I had rode the bus back home on my first day. And that was really confusing because they had, like, this one stop that, like they didn't have like a stop like in front of like my housing complex or whatever they didn't have a um like a bus stop right there so it was like a places like a mile like a couple miles down but i didn't know where i was like i knew where the neighborhoods i was com i was familiar because we all used to drive by there and stuff like that but i wasn't familiar so she was like this is like the closest bus stop right here so i was just like let me just get off because we're about to go to some other bus stop and it's about to be all the way down the road and around the corner and i'm going to be farther than i am right now from the house so i just got off right there and then i just sat there and i was like oh shoot i was like where do i go now because i thought i knew where i was going but now i think about it i think that was like really retarded like i could have just went straight and just kept walking but i did it because like because like a couple miles down i would have been home but i had to be extra i was i guess i was just too lazy or whatever so i called my mimi up i was like um i was like mimi i don't know where i am and i told her the whole situation with the bus and stuff and she was just like um she's like okay i'm coming to get you and good thing my phone was charged oh my gosh good thing my phone was charged um and then she was just like okay um i'm coming down there 
um and she's like where are you i was just like i'm in front of this this blah blah bleep blah bloop can tell you all that and she was just like okay she just kept being confused because what i kept saying and i was like you know i was calm though i was good i just kept you know looking around my surroundings to make sure that i was okay and everything and make sure you know if anything i had the police on speed dial my mom on speed dial somebody so yeah um anyways so yeah now um so uh that was my first day and when i got lost that was basically kind of like my little story there now we're gonna go on to um some old memories from my private school that i thought i would share with you guys so let's get started Alrighty guys, so one day when I was in my old school and we had a substitute that day and um, you know it was the same substitute because she used to always wear the same stuff. She used to wear, she used to wear, always wear the same red lipstick, the same like this jacket, the same wig and everything and we used to like, like we used to like make fun of her like no joke. So um, anyways when like when she sits there like she just sits there and reads the dictionary like when she has nothing to do she sits there and reads the dictionary while we work and mind you I was in a super small school so yeah we only had like one teacher um that's how small it was but um I actually I really love that school though just a lot of memories you know packed in that school that I will never forget so there was this girl we will call her we'll call her pixie Pixie, there you go, that's a good name. So Pixie, um, see, you know, Pixie likes to be grown. And she, um, you know, you know, so, um, Pixie, see, um, you know, on Fridays we were able to wear regular clothes. So when she came in, you know, she was, um, she was of a little weight. So, um, she had on like this little Marilyn Monroe, like crop top. It was yellow and it had a picture of Mel um, Marilyn Monroe in black and white and she had on these like booby shorts or whatever like they were short they were really short and she would get like I don't know like that morning it was either that morning or another morning but she really had an attitude so my teacher got my teacher got, she was like who are you talking to like I'm gonna need you to like pipe it down like you don't talk to me like that she was like upset and yeah my teacher got on to her about that um so then um we there was one day when that was when our teacher was there now back to the store i'm so all over the place but now with the substitute teacher um like she would be in the classroom and then we were about to like go to lunch or we're like we we're about to go to the back and have lunch or whatever and um she would like like for some she was like really happy one time and you know she was all happy she pulled out her ds and she was just like you know she was flashing that ds and then all of a sudden she was on kyla so then all of a sudden she was just on the floor and she like slid she had a skirt on this day and she just like slid ew what was that that was creepy but anyways so she like slid with her skirt on i'm like ew oh <laughs> There's also this other story time if you guys don't. It's just little snippets of like stories that are from my school. There was this boy. And I was in fourth grade in school. This school was a K through 12 school. I was in fourth grade. Um, he was in fourth grade as well. And um, he used to like, like me. Um, and we, um, you know, I went to a Christian school. Um, and when I went to, you know, so we used to have devotion every single morning and in the front, I would sit like in like the second, like third row in the back and he would like, he'd be like, come sit like, he'd be like, like right here, come sit right here. So you know, I sit right there and he'd be over there like trying to like hold my head over. I'm like, stop it. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he'll be over there trying to hold my hand. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, uh, no. No, but what you, what you doing? What you doing? So, um, 
yeah i was like what are you doing bro like what you doing what you doing so yeah he would just be like oh like i like you or whatever oh another story happened with him um i shouldn't tell you guys that maybe another one um let's see um hmm. i have a lot like i don't even know oh i have one so there were these siblings there were five of them that came to our school um and this like they we won't say their actual name that we called them we'll call them a different name we'll say um we'll say the birdie bunch let's just call them the birdie brunch bunch the birdie bunch that's what they're gonna be called okay i don't even care the actual birdie bunches we're just gonna say that the pretty much there's just five siblings here they used to come to the school and one used to be really creepy like when we were at lunch like in the back like she would stare at you and she would be like like she like every time she looked at you she would have a staring contest with you and it was so creepy and she would sit in the devotion room and she would be like um she would be saying something like she is like i woke up or something like in the middle of the night and i like saw demons in my room or something i'm like like okay like like wow like whoa something's wrong and then her sister um she was like i don't there were no words to describe her like she was just like kind of grown but she was also a cousin to another one of the girls that were there at the school so um then there was this boy he was just like so annoying their brother was so annoying like he used to sit in the same classroom with me with oh my gosh he was so annoying um and then now i just want to tell that story about that little girl anyways so i'm going to tell one other story about my private school or whatever so um this last one mm, oh when my uh, my friend that we she's still currently our friend now and we still go over there and hang out with her and stuff um but my sister and her when we used to go to this game school as i said this is k through 12 school so she was in like i think like 10th grade and kyla was in like ninth. yeah she was in 10th kyla was in ninth, and they would like fight over food what's up Thank mm -hmm. you.